Hello, 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 and welcome back to Troy Hill Talks. Today, we're diving into the topic that has been buzzing in the film industry. Are filmmakers relying too heavily on nostalgia to sell tickets? In recent years, it seems like every other film hitting the big screen is a reboot, a remake, or a sequel. Tapping to our nostalgic emotions. While nostalgia can create an instant connection with our audiences, there's a growing concern that this reliance on the past might be hindering the industry's creativity and originality. Nostalgia is a powerful tool that filmmakers have been using for decades to evoke emotions and create connections with audiences. When done right, nostalgia can transport us back into the cherished memories of our past, invoking a sense of comfort and familiarity. For example, the recent success of films like Jurassic World and Star Wars The Force Awakens demonstrate how nostalgia can reignite our love for beloved franchises and characters driving ticket sales and engagement. However, the over-reliance on nostalgia can have its drawbacks. While revisiting stories and characters can bring joy to the audience, it also can signal a lack of originality and risk-taking in the industry. Instead of exploring new narratives and fresh perspective, many studios are playing it safe by recycling old ideas in hope of guaranteed returns. This trend raises a critical question. Are we sacrificing quality and innovation for the sake of familiarity? Let's take a closer look at recent Hollywood trends. The abundance of reboots like Ghostbusters and remakes such as The Lion King have flooded the market, leaving little room for original stories to shine. Even long-running franchises like Fast and the Furious have succumbed to the pressures of banking on nostalgia, potentially overshadowing the essence of what made them iconic in the first place. It's crucial to consider whether these nostalgia-driven decisions are nurturing creativity or stifling it. The ongoing debate surrounding nostalgia in filmmaking brings us to a central question. Is nostalgia ruining movies? While some argue that nostalgia when used in moderation can enhance a story and introduce fresh perspectives, others contend that excessive reliance on past glory can outweigh the core substance of a film. It's essential for filmmakers to strike a balance between paying homage to the past and paving the way for innovative storytelling that resonates with contemporary audiences. As we navigate the evolving landscape of modern filmmaking, it's imperative for industry stakeholders to prioritize creativity and originality alongside the comforting allure of nostalgia. Embracing new voices, diverse perspectives, and untold narratives that can breathe life into the industry, fostering a culture of innovation and inclusiveness by encouraging a healthy balance between honoring the past and embracing the future. We can cultivate a cinematic experience that transcends time and resonates with audiences of all generations. As viewers and supporters of the film industry, it's crucial for us to engage critically with the media we consume. Let's spark meaningful conversations about the impact of nostalgia on filmmaking. Advocating for a future where innovation and originality strives alongside our fond memories of the past. Share your thoughts in the comments below and join the dialogue on Troy Hill Talks. Together, let's shape a cinematic landscape that honors the legacy of the past while paving the way for groundbreaking narratives that captivate and inspire us. The debate over the role of nostalgia in modern filmmaking is multifaceted and is continuously evolving. While nostalgia could be a powerful force that connects us to shared memories and emotions, it also has the potential to limit creativity, innovation, and storytelling. Ultimately, the impact of nostalgia in modern filmmaking will likely remain a prominent topic of discussion as the industry adapts to changing audience preferences and cultural influences. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you really enjoyed the content, please subscribe to the channel and share with friends. I'm Troy Hill. This is Troy Hill Talks, and I'll see you again soon with more content. Take care.